Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I know we have a new little, am I not? Okay. We have a new setup. I know we're sitting on my bed. So I figured for now on when I'm gonna do like these like sit down YouTube videos, we're gonna be sitting on my bed. Just cause I think it's a different perspective than where my little clothing rack is. But today's video is something that a lot of people ask me um, when I do go thrifting is just like tips and tricks for like first time thrifters. I feel like people can get very like overwhelmed with thrifting and they're like, Inch, how, how did you, how do you do it? Like, I feel like I walk into a store and I'm like, oh my God, there's so much crap here. Where do I even start? So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my tips, my tricks on how to thrift like a pro and this is only your first time. So guys, let's get into this video. So we can go through the little list that I made. Okay, tips for when you are a first time thrifter like a, and you're gonna thrift like a pro. Okay, so um, I would definitely, let's see which one we would say first. All right, we'll do this one first because this is actually the first one on there, on here anyway. So the first one, bring your own tote bag, bag or whatever, just because like now, well, obviously we're in quarantine now, so we, we're not going thrifting. But beforehand, when I was going thrifting, like maybe within the last like few weeks, a lot of the thrift stores that I go to, you know, you can't bring, you know, they're not using plastic anymore. So thankfully I had a tote bag in my car, like just like a little canvassy one. Just bring that. And plus it's always easier just to have your own. You could just throw everything in there. You get rid of the hangers while you're there. It's just easier. You don't have to bring so much crap back into the house. So... Definitely number one thing is to bring your own um, tote bag. Okay, second is to have a list of things that you want to look for when you go thrifting. What I mean by that is, you can't, like, it's hard even for me just to walk into a thrift store and be like, okay, let's just see what I can find. Because then I get overwhelmed. And then I'm like, oh, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that, I'm going over here, I'm going over there. So I just feel like it's a lot. So if you kind of have an idea of what you're looking for, like sometimes when I know I'm going to the thrift store, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of looking for sleeveless tops or spaghetti straps. Or I'm like, okay, I want to find a slip dress. I want to find plaid pants. I want to find a pair of, a few pairs of jeans. Just so I kind of have an idea and I even write it down on my phone. Like, okay, these are the things I'm looking for. Just so I know, I'm like, okay, I can go to the jean section first, pick out like six pairs of jeans and, you know, put them in the car. And then I can pick out a few more things that I want to look for. And then like, as I go, I'm like, oh, wow, look how cute this is. And I just like kind of pick up everything else as I go. Just because if you don't, I'm telling you, you're going to be overwhelmed, especially if it's your first time. Like if there's a specific thing you're looking for, put it on your list, go to that section. All right. And the third one is look through all the sections. Now, when I first started thrifting, I only looked at the women's section. I looked at the women's section for graphic t-shirts, for jeans. No. You need to look through all the sections. I've seen girls find cute little crop tops in the little girl section. I haven't found them yet. I don't know if I'm just not looking hard enough or I'm not looking at the right things, but I have seen people on YouTube post that they have found little girl's tops and wore them as crop tops. So you know what? It's, seriously, it's not possible. Look through the home decor, like, and the home stuff. Like, I'm telling you, you could find such cute things at the, like, in, like, the home section. Like, I found, you can get records there. You can get old school, like, VHS movies. You can get magazines. I've got Harper's Bazaar from, like, the 90s magazines there. Um, I have a few um, VHSs, like, Powerpuff Girls, like, all, of, like, the old, old 90s stuff. Um, what else? Did I find at the home stuff? I've seen, I haven't seen at my thrift store. There's one that I do go to. I just don't go to it very often because it's always packed. But if you are in the Northern, the Northern Jersey area, you have to go to Red, White, and Blue. I believe there's one, the one that I go to is in Patterson. I'm not sure if there's a few more. I'm sure there probably is. But the one that I go to is in Patterson. Seriously, if you want good home stuff, that's where you go. I've seen chairs, couches, side tables, coffee tables, like for like $12. And like good stuff like this is good like their furniture is good for if you wanted to get a lot you know i've seen i really want to get like a cool fun like 
chair and I'm like, all right, as soon as these thrift stores open, that's where I'm hitting myself. I'm going straight to red, white, and blue because I want to find a cool chair for my room. I just think that's like so cool and fun. And you can find like really unique pieces. Like I've gotten crystal wine glasses from the thrift store, brand new for a set of, I think it was either four or six. I'm not 100% sure and I paid $9.99 for them. Real crystal, $9.99. Like, I mean, you can't beat it. So definitely look through all the sections. The men's section has the best jeans. If you want that mom fit jean, you go to the men's section because um, the men's section is where it's at. I don't even look through the women's jeans anymore because the men's section is where it's at. Like, I mean, I took my one friend thrifting and she was like, holy shit, you were not kidding. Like, these jeans are amazing. I was like, told you. Would not lie. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Number four? Number four. Um, try everything on. What I mean to tell you, you have to try everything on. You have to try everything on. Everything on. Just because some of the sizes are like older styles and older sizes. So everything runs differently. Like, you could put a pair of Levi's on from the men's section, especially men's section. For us women, I know, I'm pretty sure our sizes are anywhere from like a, I think the small, like a 28 to like a 32 is usually what women's size is equivalent to us. So those are like the smallest for men and those are good. So I would definitely always try on the men's jeans just because they all fit differently. Some of them are 30 in, some of them are 28 in. It really just depends on the style of the jean, how it's been worn, if it's been worn, what kind of denim it is. So it, you gotta try everything on, especially like tops, try on too. It's more so like the women's tops, um, just because they all, they fit differently, you know, especially though some of the older styles, like a size four in Ralph Lauren in the 90s is like this big compared to what it is now. So everything was made so differently. So definitely try everything on. I know it's annoying. I hate it, but I like trying it on because then I'm like, okay, I can kind of envision how I'm going to wear it, if it's going to look good. Just try it on. I know it's annoying. I hate trying things on, but when I go to the thrift store, I always try things on because they do not do a return policy, at least the ones by me. I'm pretty sure all of them don't have a return policy. Um, so just try it on. I know it's annoying, but just try it on. It's not that bad, I swear. Um, okay, take your time. You have to have a lot of patience when you're doing it because you know what it's annoying it's the first like three times i've went like the first three times ever i went to one that was like a huge warehouse and i was like okay okay i got annoyed after like 20 minutes because everything was in boxes and i just didn't know you had to like take your time with this and now i spend like three like anywhere not three three is exaggerated I'm exaggerating. Like, okay, probably like an hour and a half to like two hours at the thrift store. Because I go through everything, you know, I go to the men's section for graphic tees. I go to the men's section for jeans. I go by the purses. Um, you know, always check the shoes too. Shoes, always check the shoes. You never know what you're going to find. I've gotten great pairs of sandals from the thrift store. Great pairs. I've actually seen a pair of Manolos at the one thrift store. And I was going to buy them, but they were $20. And they really weren't like a, like a color I was going to wear. But I was like, why do I really want to buy these right now? So, yeah, take your time, look through everything, go through all the sections, because you will be surprised of what kind of gems you will find at the thrift store, I'm telling you. Um, let's see, and I think, oh, one more thing. So, let's say you're going to get, you know, a two-piece set. So you can alter the thrift clothes and you won't, you probably will spend less than if you would have bought it, like how you would have saw it. So what I'm saying, uh, huh, that's not a good explanation. Um, so like, let's say like I've gotten a few two pieces from the thrift store, like two piece suits. And I want, I've gone to the dry cleaner and be like, listen, I want the hems, I want the jacket short. And it probably cost me like 30, 40 bucks. And the suit itself probably cost me like $10. So anything at the thrift store you can hem and it will cost less than what you even like would buy if you were buy it like in the store already pre-done you know and thrift store is good for like you want to diy things like diy clothing um you know and also yeah i don't know where i was going also i don't know why i said that <laughs> but yeah definitely like you could alter any of your clothes i've gotten a pair of black levi jeans from the thrift store and i've cut them into shorts i brought them 
I cut them myself and then I've gotten them like hemmed nicely and then hemmed on the way uh, fixed on the waistband. But yeah, you could literally hem anything at the thrift store. And you probably call it probably costs you like ten bucks for the thing and probably another five dollars. And if you were to go to any other retail store, they'll cost you like $40 for those pair of jeans. So for sure, you can hem anything. So even if something's like a little big, a little too small, you can do it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, yeah, sorry guys, I have a piece of hair in my mouth. <laughs> um, let's see. Accessories are really good at the thrift store. Always looked at accessories. I got really good belts from there. Um, scarves, if you want a really nice satin or silk, satin or silk scarf, definitely go to the thrift store because I've picked up a few and like, they're great. They were cost me maybe like two, three dollars. So definitely check the accessories for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I feel like there's literally one more thing. Okay. Number one tip. Out of all the tips I just gave you, this is literally the number one. Don't go into the thrift store. Just looking for brand names you're not gonna find anything you're not i don't go to the thrift store when i first was going thrifting that's what i did i looked for brand tommy hilfinger um gucci levi's this brand that brand i was constantly looking for a brand name but like they have so many other clothes that aren't brand names that are so much better than the brand name ones like when i stopped looking for brand names that's when just the brand names kind of just like came out of nowhere like they were, I was like, oh my God, Dolce & Gabbana shirt. I found a Christian Dior blazer there, you know, for like 20 bucks. It's really like, you don't want to look at the label. You just want to look, do you like that jacket? Then buy it. Who cares if it doesn't have a label? Who cares if you don't even know? It's probably better quality than a, a label brand. So you know what? Do not look at the labels. Don't go in saying you want to look for labeled things. Just go in with, I want to look for a slip dress. That's it. And if it just happens to be a Christian Dior slip dress, it happens to be. But if it's not, it's probably just as good as quality or probably the same quality as a Christian Dior one. So do not look for brand things. They will come to you if it's meant to be. Alrighty guys, that is it for today's video. I hope these tips and tricks are going to help you on your first ever thrifting trip. Um, comment below if you guys go or if you use any of these tips and just in general if you guys like thrifting or if you've ever been thrifting. Um, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment below and I will see you guys in my next video.